just made it to our apartment in Avignon. Um, it's actually so nice to have an Airbnb after being in hotel rooms and hostels for the last few weeks. Like I can't tell you how excited I am to use a washing machine and make a home cooked meal. Um, but right now I think we're going to go explore the town, um, have a look around and then tonight we'll probably just come back, make some dinner, pesto pasta clove. Yeah. Yeah, yum. I can't wait. I'm actually so pumped. <laughs> host told us about this ice cream place the and best she, in said, the world. she said it was the best in the world so we're gonna go check it out um hopefully it's not a repeat of my Kalua ice cream experience fingers crossed it is amazing I think it's the best in the world as we've been told <laughs> Consensus. So good. Miku Coulier, that's in French. And in front of us, that's the mountain of uh, Luberon. But this is just the
just too good to be true So I'll just wait on the other side of the Of truffles in Europe, you might that because, because it's 300 euro, okay. But this is how they look like. You know? I close my eyes, I don't exist till my name escapes your lips. Wonder if you. Yeah, you can't encapsulate it in a video. It doesn't do it justice. Chloe and I decided to do a day trip to Neiman Isle today. And I'm currently sitting in the Isle Amphitheatre, which was literally built in 90 AD and it's still so well preserved. Um, I actually think that they still hold like plays and festivals and music concerts here. Um, which is crazy, like I find it so fascinating when historic monuments um, are integrated into like modern society and life. It's like you're just existing in this like piece of history. Don't mind the amp 
the theatre in the back. We're in Nîmes. Um, we just arrived and we're having lunch. But guys, I wanted to show you. We went to the cutest bookstore in Arles and I got a little poetry book. Um, I really want to improve my French and I thought that like a little poetry book would be a good place to start because it has short passages so it's easy to digest and analyse. It's called Paladin um, by Emmanuel Echibar. Um, and from what I gathered from my like five minute Google search, um, it explores um, the daily moments in the life of people in a city from the point of view of an onlooker. Um, but then it also has like a hidden layer underneath um, with a second voice which kind of um, centres around the untold and invisible um, stories of those people that you can't see on the surface. So I'm really excited and I'll let you know if I like it. <laughs> Aix-en-Provence is the markets. <laughs> How many do you think we've been to by now? I don't know, we should keep a tally because we go to every single one in every single place. <laughs> Elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée d'avancer solo, de poser sous quelques mots, accompagné d'un petit mm, rouler avec son parent certain Didi, un certain homme de ma vie. Mais que s'est-il passé Pourquoi je me retrouve coincé dans un 35 mètres carrés à Paris, ben oui, vous aussi. Moi j'étais bien à Moustier, c'est là que tout a commencé. Tu ne connais pas, s'il te plaît, c'est normal, tu sais, faut être un peu loin dans sa tête pour y habiter. Wow, 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 wow. We are currently on our way to Musée Granet, which um, is an impressionist museum with works by like Cézanne, Van Gogh, Picasso, um, and it's also free for students under 26. Um, so not only is it a museum which has works by my favourite artistic movement, 
it also is free. So it has to be good, right? Hey.